want to use that stick to like move it and stuff? You can do it, yeah. Titan is from Illinois and will be back in June. Titan, the Titan, my daddy looks forward to working with you again. Tyson, my dad looks forward to work with you again. Oh, hey, tell tell Tyson that we did his flag. Um, they did his fl they did your flag for you. Oh yeah. They did the flag. Well, come to a class at Counter Takamaxi, and they're open every month. There's your flag, Tyson. Yesterday I did this ocean one. Oh yeah, we'll see what how it turned out. If you did a, do epoxy, what would you like to do with your epoxy colors? It was, I think, it was this color right here. Oh, yeah. This one? From yesterday. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be gorgeous. <coughs> um, rocks there, so I just got here. Can you see the trowels one? Trowels, what is the trowel? Is that that greenish one or something? Yes, right here, actually. That was the one that was trial epoxy, but we did not polish it yet. Would you like to hear one of my jokes? Um, um, what do you call an illegally parked frog? A toad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even retell the one. There's a lot of people that weren't here for your jokes yesterday. Yeah. And love to hear them all. Yesterday when I was doing my life for the ocean one, um, I told some jokes. Um, does anybody here have an ark? I know a guy. <laughs> also, I have a pizza joke. Do you guys want to hear a pizza joke? Yes. It's, it's kind of cheesy. <laughs> That's my favorite one. That's one of my favorites. They're laughing. Oh, also, what do you call a, um, a cow with no legs? Ground beef. When we get the bubbles out, you'll see how pretty this is. Who's the prettiest girl in the world? Me.
Thank you for the dinosaur. I like dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite dinosaur? Um, I don't know much, but maybe I like a T-Rex, maybe? Because they have little arms like my dad. Because they have little arms like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's spring break for me. If you don't see how good this looks, you need to look with your eyes. <laughs> what was this? <laughs> say it again. If I said, if you if this if you can't look how good this looks with your eyes, how good this looks, look with your eyes. <laughs> this is a good day. She just got through that. You making a flower? Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of making designs. Yeah. Just for you. We'll do this. That's pretty. Oh, I was trying to make a flower for you, but I didn't do a very good job. It's okay. No. So I said you're a very good artist. Thank you. Um. I did, I did get some wood with my dad yesterday, like maybe like a cutting board thing, and I might do epoxy in it. Do you want me to Ooh. pour another layer here so you can keep going in here too in a little bit? Yeah. Okay. That's really pretty. Thank you. I was thinking the same thing. It's like a pattern mm -hmm. oh. called paisley. It looks like How's paisley? Here go. We'll show you. <laughs> Somebody said, what's it going to be? Um, what's it going to be? It's not going to really, it's just going to be kind of like something like a pretty, I don't know, <laughs> what it's going to be. And if you do want to learn this, come to counter top epoxy. Yes. That should be about it. I love it. Beautiful. I'm done. You're done? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to play around and mix your other pigments while Debbie does a video over here. Okay. Tell them you're going to be going to my daddy for a minute, and then you're going to be able to watch me do something cool again. Okay. So you're, uh, we're going to watch my dad do something very cool, and I'll come back in a minute. Yeah, she'll and be I'll right back. She's way cooler than me. But I, we have a customer that wants a reverse copper patina, so that's what we're going to want to do. So thank you, guys. This is my little Maya Papaya. She's amazing. Um, yo habla espanol con ella. So, no, my Spanish is really sucks, but hers is good. So <laughs> if you have any crazy questions, you're welcome to ask during the live. And then she's going to finish her ocean, ocean piece from yesterday that we just poured. And um, we may even just let the one she just did set for a while before we lightly torch it, but we don't want to get it too hot first. So here goes nothing. And Michael, do you want me to go ahead and pour? Yeah. Okay. You know what I better? While you're doing this, can I get a colored piece of ocean? Uh-huh. Yep. Rock Slayer said you guys look so much alike. Rock Slayer, thank you. She's like, like me, but without all the ugly. Yes. She is my little mini me. She does everything. She, she drives. She drives trucks. 
shoots guns, rides motorcycles, and she wants to own a bakery and a clothing design store when she grows up. So I'm excited to see her do both, to be a clothing designer and a bakery store owner. So I love when I see little girls with badass dreams, and that's you dads out there, start taking your little girls to work and teaching them that they can be gangsters so they're not stuck with some wussy ass guy that works at Starbucks that can't provide for your daughters. So make sure your daughter's a dangerous little girl that dudes have to try to keep up with. Oh, uh, 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 and if they work at Starbucks, God bless them, we love that too. So, but I believe my little girl could be the president or the, they could do anything. I think when, when she was little, Maya, you might not remember this, but when you were little, you actually told me, you said, I'm not sure, Daddy, if I want to be a sniper or a pilot. And I was like, that's pretty gangster. <laughs> Sounded like my life goals as a child. That's... Teach your little girls to be dangerous because little boys aren't dangerous anymore. Little boys are dangerous to themselves mostly nowadays. And if you have a little boy, do the same with them. Speak life to them. Bring them to work. Teach them, teach them how to be. There's a lot of dads I see that will complain about their son being like a little wuss or something. And, but they don't go teach their son how to be a good man. So they wouldn't take their kid to work. Es, muchas gracias por, uh, un, what do you say, how do you say comment? Um, la poxy es countertop epoxy. Um, link is in the bio. Um, um, este, este mi producto. <laughs> I hope somebody out there helps me interpret. But this is countertop epoxy. Thank you so much for following. And we actually have a whole Spanish series of videos that are coming out on our product. Um, it's going to be amazing. And... Um, I want to thank, we just realized all of our competitors follow our chip page, and we love it. I'm so stoked that they copy everything we do. So I love all our fans, especially you guys out there that are watching today. And yes, we are about to pour a reverse copper patina. Oh, oh, oh. You know, this actually was just a hollow core door that we'd poured epoxy on a few days ago. So it looked like marble. Thank you for saying it was marble. It wasn't actually marble. That was my epoxy from a few days ago. And we just pour these over and over just for instructional. And even though it looks really heavy, this is actually a door that you can just pick up. One guy can pick up right in their hands. So, or a badass little girl like mine. All right. Dude, I'm excited to do this. A reverse copper patina. That's exciting. Do you think I should start out with some sprays or? Yeah, we have gold. Gold? Want me to grab each of these? You know what? Whatever you think, man. This is going to be good. What's that? Yes, actually, we, muchas gracias. Thank you for watching our channel today. And um, this is countertopepoxy.com. Please hit the follow button. And the link to our website is in the bio. So, um, and definitely call our office. Um, and we have Spanish speakers. So, uh, how do you say, um, hablando con mi oficina por un español? So right now, I'm just spraying alcohol on top of with um, gold. And this is not something I would ever recommend at home. This is 99% isopropyl. And I'm, I meant to say this is a warning video of what not to do. We're spraying gold on top of, um, of our light turquoise base. Just showing you how much you can get so much done with just sprays. You don't always need to be mixing all these different epoxies. Now, obviously, we have fun doing that, so we're going to do it today. But look at how much you can do with just rolling a base coat, spraying, and torching. And it already looks amazing. So most likely, this is as good as it's ever going to look, guys, because I'm really good at just messing things up from here. So if my little girl could learn one thing from me, it's just don't be always like daddy. So here we go. So all I did was spray, 
and torch incorrectly, of course, don't torch like that, but don't ever do what I do. And all I'm doing is lightly rolling this back across with a foam roller. Just making it look amazing. That's what I do to things usually. I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you for watching the channel. You know what? We're doing some giveaways here, but give us a shout out. Let us know where you're from. We're in Western Colorado here. We do classes once a month. Our next class coming up is gonna be a big river table casting class. Um, and we just got done with a really awesome flooring class that was pretty impressive. And the job actually turned out incredibly well. I can't wait to get the photos and it was all students that did it. So here we go is a great base. Now, if you, if you noticed, all I did was roll my light turquoise um, out as a flood coat. And a flood coat is just something usually about 15 to 17 square feet per gallon, something that somewhat self levels on, on its own. Um, and epoxy has surface tension and viscosity. So most epoxy you want to look at and see what they recommend as a mill thickness. And if you run too thin um, below that, trying to spread it too thin, that's how you get fish eyes or not good color coverage and whatnot. So I poured this um, plenty, plenty of product. I went a little bit thicker than we had to go, so it just self levels a little easier. Um, and as you see, I just um, rolled it out, torched it, um, sprayed my gold into the top of it, and rolled it. And now all I'd really need to do is a final torching. Um, but I'm going to go into the copper patina phase too. So I'm going to torch it quickly. And all this does is um, pops little air bubbles, warms it up, and really lays the product down just a little faster than what you'd naturally get um, if you were to just let it sit here and try to naturally aerate. And usually if you don't torch it or spray alcohol or heat gun it or something, you'll always have a few little spots that don't really pop on their own. So it is good to go around really quickly and um, just pop any little air bubbles, one quick pass over the surface. And you don't have to do it early on like this. A lot of times I wait till I'm totally done manipulating my piece so I don't warm it up and lose any of my um, working time because basically the epoxy cures with temperature. So even though I'm getting air bubbles out and getting a pretty look and getting it to lay down, I know I'm losing work time, which we're on a small, this is a hollow corridor, so, you know, 15 square feet. But say this was a big countertop, 120 square feet. That's when I may not want to torch until I'm very totally done at the very end of my job. And also, if I'm stuck on a big job, that's when I want to give customers options like this, something that, that anybody could do really easily. There was no real technique. There was no real skill needed, rather. And this was all just technique, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you're thankful for, and we're gonna pick a winner today, and we're gonna send you a really cool epoxy tumbler. Um, and I'm gonna put some resin in there and a temp, temp gun. So today's giveaway, we're giving you a little bit of everything we have here. So um, all I wanna see is what you're thankful for. Just comment, and there will be a winner picked. Um, and like I say, um, you're gonna get a really awesome, like a $70 epoxy tumbler, some epoxy, some colors, a temp gun. So, nah, I'm really liking that, how that's laying down. What do you guys think? This would be a very simple copper patina that you could do. And like I say, no, no real artistic skill as I have none myself. And look how smooth that laid out with a torch. So yeah. I like to always at least start all my jobs with really basic um, processes um, that I know I can reduplicate every time that I'm not going to get stuck halfway done with something. So I think right now I am going to add a little bit of copper. So what's down here is gold and now I'm going to spray a little bit of copper. Test my pattern off, off the piece. So many people get their sprayer all shook up and then they test spray it right onto their countertop and it looks horrible. So don't be like that. Don't be that guy. Test it in a trash can or something. Now I'm showing you the difference between earlier I'd sprayed like a real mist to the whole thing just by um, just basically by tightening this up and creating a mist pattern with the same style sprayer. Um, but now I'm spraying really slowly trying to get large droplets out to show you a totally different effect we can get. So, so yeah. Do you know what? It's good to be grateful. Isn't gratefulness is the key to happiness, guys? I'll tell you, I've gone through tough things in my life and 
had really great times in my life. And so often when you think you've, you're having a tough day, you end up finding out that your life just hasn't been put in perspective with something tough that somebody right next to you is probably going through. So, so now we're going to be pouring some Caribbean, guys. Ooh, diamond earring. I don't know. What do we do with this? What should I do with this? I'm going to swirl the hell out of it. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, show you guys how to try to create cells across the surface here. If I can make this work. And by the way, I'm not, just because I look like a leprechaun is not why I am advertising the fact that we are having a St. Patty's Day sale right now. So, um, so if anybody, and yes, I'm very Irish, but um, unlike that comedian explains like six, I'm not 600% Irish, I'm just Irish. So has anyone ever, who's my comedian I like? Who's the guy? Bill Burr? No, all the other guy. The real funny hillbilly. Oh, uh, Bill Vaughn? Theo Vaughn. Yeah, Theo Vaughn explains how Irish I am. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But we are having a St. Patty's Day sale today, guys. I'm showing you right here. This is one technique I just love. And maybe it's just because it's fun to do. But I like to pour out a little bit of epoxy out of my cup. A little bit of epoxy. And then all I do is roll this and chop this down my door. And I don't want this everywhere. I just want this in random areas. And I, I'm going to try not to let any big drops hit where it just looks really fake. And if I, some drops do fall off, I'm going to start my pattern right there. Um, guess what you have inside the bowl. What did we have inside the bowl? Inside of what? The bottles. Oh, the bottles? The bottles are 99% isopropyl alcohol, and we mix our mica powders with those. So, and right now... I'm pouring our Caribbean off onto a stick and I'm just trying to get a little bit of a layer and some technique, some texture rather, sorry, chopped into there. I just, I don't want this to be all any one color. I'm trying to create, if you notice the bubbles I'm trying to put in there, it'll create a really neat selling effect just naturally and that's any time you get a layer of epoxy you can kind of create that effect, a layer on top of another layer with some air between it. So, I don't know. It smells like they finally got all their square footage and they'll be calling after the live. Call after the live. We're excited to hear you guys. Let us know however we can help you. What's the best price to get 99% isopropyl? 99% isopropyl, guys. It is. Um, you can go to automotive um, paint supply shops. A lot of times your local like Sherwin-Williams reps will carry it, stuff like that. Um, definitely just um, call first, call Sherwin-Williams, call that. If you're using large quantities and even small quantities, um, you can go on a website called Uline and I know they're made technically more for commercial sellers and large corporations, but don't let that intimidate you. They have a really good um, pricing structure for everybody. So. Um, check out Uline if you ever um, are looking for chemicals and stuff. I mean, usually they're a shipping company, I know, but they sell a lot of chemicals like that nowadays. In co during COVID, a lot of companies like that kind of got into different things that they didn't previously really meddle in. But you can get from them every, everything from uh, probably even one gallon of alcohol all the way up to a 400-gallon tote. We usually get a few 55-gallon drums at a time. A bullnose counter. Just route your um, bullnose right into the wood or whatever you're, um, whatever you're building your countertop out of. Um, and then make sure that um, after you route it, if that wood's all usually particle board or MDF, um, you know, you have kind of that open grain. Make sure you seal it up and sand it at least one time just to get it really smooth and sealed first. And then you can just pour your epoxy directly over that edge. Kind of like this edge isn't a bullnose exactly, but this is a chiseled edge. And um, we coated it exactly how I would recommend you doing that. Just a different shape. This technique makes it look like it really is breaking through the holes and it's kind of a beautiful looking thing. Uh, yeah, don't you like that? I do like chopping this in. I used to use a hand trowel a lot. A lot of my countertops. There we are. 
right now. This is a crazy green. How is everybody today? You guys have no clue, but I'm having a lot of fun because my little girl's in the office today. So, and I don't get to work with my little girl every day, so it's exciting what I do. And she's she's over here cleaning and humming along and being very sweet. A lot prettier than me. Fun to watch. There we are. Oh, that's a good green. That was a good addition to this copper patina. That's a good one. Very St. Patty's, guys. For St. Patty's, I think everybody needs to go watch Boondock Saints. It's one of the best movies ever made. It reminds me of a natural spring and water. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How did I get started? If it's me, how did I get started? I actually, um, I got out of the Marine Corps, guys. Join the Marine Corps, and you'll get out after a six-year period with zero <laughs> skills for people and you'll get stuck doing stuff like laying tile and granite. Um, and then you'll learn that that's a really competitive field and you're not really doing anything as artistic and decorative as you were hoping. Um, and you'll take risks to try to start new things. So I actually kind of invented what's called countertop epoxy and the processes you see like this. I actually got made fun of quite a bit when I took this to the biggest coding shows in the world. And everybody told me about 16 years ago that nobody's ever gonna put color inside of epoxy. So. That's, I'm, I'm really glad they said nobody would ever do that because that's exactly what you need to tell me to make me go try to prove you wrong. Okay, and who wants to see a dirty little pour? Get poured all the way across this in a clear. I think it's going to be beautiful. This is going to be amazing. We're going to do a dirty pour, guys. And probably wreck my entire piece. But why do we care? Because we're here for fun. Earth. This is all Earth vibes. There we are. Try not dump some of my diamond earring in there. There's a, that's going to be a special little van of glitter. I sure hope you guys are enjoying what we're teaching you. I don't even know if anybody's out there. Hello, is anyone out there? You guys are amazing, by the way. Thanks for being patient while I mix this around here. It's an aerial photo of the top line. Aerial photo of, let's hope I don't mess this up. I'm gonna try dirty pour here, guys. With a lot of clear. The amount of clear in here should really force this to be extremely three-dimensional and it'll take a minute but it should settle out and really give you all the striations really separated and after it sets for probably two or three minutes I'll torch it but man that actually laid down pretty nice I ain't sad about that we'll let this settle out while Maya does her ocean waves again and I will torch this in a moment but first, there's your epoxy in there. Here's back at it. It's back at to you. Okay, so now the we're dumpster. gonna make another layer. So I'm gonna add. Tell them, say this was a beach I did yesterday and I just poured it clear and now I'm putting more color, another layer of color. I poured, I poured this yesterday from my live and there's, we poured a clear epoxy and then now we're gonna Four more. One more layer of each. And I added a big seashell, but it kind of sank to the bottom in the epoxy, but. Okay. Now we're gonna add some of this color at the back a little bit. Um, I do kind of want to add like fish, maybe. I could ask that to my dad, if I could add fish. No. Do you want to hear a fish joke, though? Yes. Um, what do you call a fish with two knees? What? A toonie fish. 
They said if that I could add. I have the look right now. Really? Sorry, that was my idea. <laughs> If you look up close, it kind of looks cool, the design right here. It does, huh? Oh, thank you. I do like to do this beach. It's kind of fun to do. Happens. Let's see what she says. Number two, a moving van. Oh, <laughs> that was good. What do you what What do you call when you What do you call when you um when you I can't say it. What do you call a uh, a snowman? What, what that's a vampire. A frostbite. Ah, that was so good. Thank you. Taylor loves that one. This one? What else would be probably, you know what else would probably be good? If we made a boat and you could put it on the ocean. Oh, that would be really cool, huh? Yeah. Like a sailboat. What else would you like me to do, probably, in these lives? Somebody said you need a dolphin on the ocean. A dolphin? Do you have a dolphin thing? Uh, shall get one for you. We'll go to Hobby Lobby. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tell Billy to take me to the craft store and get some things. Well, my dad will take me to the craft store and we'll add some things to the ocean. I've been thinking maybe sometime I might do like a fall colors maybe. Ooh. That looks like leaves maybe. That would be so fun. Mm -hmm. You could even add um, leaves. Yeah. Colors would be beautiful with leaves. Snow colors would be pretty good because mm -hmm. it's just white. True, true. Um, okay, what did one ocean say to the other ocean? They didn't say anything, they just waved. You're probably right. Let's see. <laughs> That's a good one. That's what I was about to say today, but I didn't say it. Oh. <laughs> and I forgot, but you just said it. I have some poxy back here. And these cups. Um, and I'm gonna use guess the stick. Can I make it look like an ocean?
What was it? That's good. What did the other ocean say to the other ocean? Not saying they just tore <laughs> <laughs> Like these? Mm -hmm. Split them into like this. Very nice thing. I forgot to add an orange color to put an orange color in the That's cups. Really pretty in these, though. Yeah, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. I think cool. it's perfect. It's, it looks really neat. And you can drop any of these shells in there. Okay. And now they'll sit right on top of these. They're not going to get hidden in anything. I'll mm -hmm. add. This one maybe like right. It's stuck. Okay, so how do you get it out of the tray? Um, the this epoxy when it's dry. Yeah. Um, you just kind of I think you just flip it over and like take smack it out. It. Yeah, like smack it and take it out. a pretty one. Ooh, that is really pretty. So Daddy has to leave so she can get your own yes. shells. I do have some little shells at home, but I'm not sure where they are. Then this is the crushed abalone. Do you want to put the sprinkle abalone in here? Yeah. I'll you want try. Me to sprinkle it? Can I try? Oh, actually, um, yeah, 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 you can try. Do you want it all? No. Okay. I'll put some of it. <laughs> and it takes, it says it takes about four years for a shell to get that big. This big? Yeah. Also, for a cactus, I think it takes a, lo a while too. For a oh cactus. Yeah. You're right. Here. Here, I'll get you a little bit. Yeah. You want to torch it now? Um. You want to look? Maybe in the little bit. I mean, I do like this one. Or. Let's see which one. I might add this one. Right. Somebody said his daughter is watching us and he said if you could let him do that, yeah. You know what? Call her office if you want. Tell him, call your office and what's call. the room? MSM? Tell him, say MSM, call her office and there's a sale going on today. And MSM? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And we'll throw some extra stuff in for your daughter if you buy anything. Uh, MSM, um, what did I say? Just say call the office if you want to buy a product for your daughter and we'll be able to throw a bunch of extra stuff in. Um, call the office and if you want anything extra or... MSM, call the office if you want to do that with your daughter. If you do any kind of sale, we'll throw some extra stuff in there for you too for her to play with some sample kits and a bunch of colors. Maybe someday you can do that. The epoxy. Now we better torch it before it gets hot, Maya. Now we're gonna torch it. Yeah, you gonna put that over in the cup. This one?
KC004, oh, say KC004, you're the winner, oh. call our office and give them our shipping address. KC004, KC004, call our office and good job for mm -hmm. You won. Thank you. I get something out. Thanks again for watching the live and letting my little girl come to work with me. And I hope you guys liked it. Hit the follow button. Um, remember, we are having our St. Patty Day, Patty's Day sale today. So um, if you want 20% off site wide on anything you saw, you call. Um, and remember, zero, who is our winner? KC004. KC004. Call the office, and we're going to put a, a bunch of stuff together for you. All you have to do is give them your address um, in a non creepy way, the shipping address, and we'll ship you everything. So I hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you later today or tomorrow.